Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Gad Talks, where we review the latest electronics, gadgets, and smartwatches. Today, we are going to go through and go through a basic review of the QW11 smartwatch fitness tracker that comes from a very popular manufacturer in China. And before we begin today, if you guys have not yet already, please subscribe to my channel to make sure you guys don't miss out on the latest reviews as I will be providing them regularly. So, if you guys do purchase this watch after this video, you guys can use my affiliate links below. It will take you to trusted sources such as Amazon or eBay, for which I am an affiliate of, and I will earn a commission at no extra cost to you. Now let's begin. This is the QW11 smartwatch fitness tracker. So, this watch can go anywhere from $40 to $60, depending on the website that you guys choose to get this watch from. This watch operates off a USB port. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. Because I, like the, I usually like the magnetic charging ports out of smartwatches. It's just a lot easier. You don't really have to plug anything in. This one you do, USB itself is becoming more of a hassle to me. Because you actually literally have to plug in the port, uh, the cable into the port. As opposed to a magnetic charger, you just snap it on like a magnet. This one, let's begin. This is the home phase of the smartwatch itself. Looks like you can actually insert a SIM, co uh, SIM card here, so um, this watch can actually do calling on its own and some of its phone functions. If you want to operate this watch entirely on its own, you can actually do so by purchasing a SIM card. You can also switch the watch faces of this watch. So that is something you will want to go through the instruction manual to do because it seems like I'm just doing it here on accident. I tend not to go through the instruction manual, especially for the review videos, just because it's really short, but I'll leave that to yourself. And it'll be really fun to just learn about the functions of the watch that you purchase. So I do recommend that. Now this is uh, the uh, alternate home face, which has your time, your call, your contacts. So it's a very phone-oriented smartwatch. Now let's see, let's go through the menu. You're going to have your basic functions. You're going to have your music. You have your browser, which looks like you would require a SIM for. Your social media functions. Camera, which I would like to see. It's not as impressive of a camera. I've seen better, but also for watches that, you know, easily double the value or price of this watch. So I don't expect too much out of the camera out of a, a $40, $50 watch. I've definitely seen better on $100 watches, but of course... It's going to be the trade-off in price. You're going to have a mic. Looks like you have music functions if you want to listen to music. You're also going to have your basic fitness functions. Sleep monitor. Looks like uh, your steps, your time. Alarm clock. Anti-loss. Basic functions. So nothing too extraordinary here. Very basic functions, basic fitness functions, social media, which is a plus. I don't see that in all smartwatches. You can have your camera. So basically just everything that you uh that you will want out of a basic smartwatch, it's here. I do like that, you know, it does come with a few watch faces. So be sure to read through that if you do purchase this watch. For what it's worth, 
This watch does the job for $40. Now let's put this watch on and see what it looks like. This is a silicone strap watch with a very funny buckle here so I do not I have not learned ahead of time on how to buckle this up. It's an interesting buckle. So it looks like instead of a, a of a strap, you would use this buckle to actually tie things up here. So this is what it looks like when you have it on. Not a bad one. I would definitely take it for a workout or a run, exercise. So for $40, $50. I do recommend this watch. You know, basic functions. For its price, you could you probably get the same watches that operate about the same. I do like the interface of this watch. It was not very hard to just navigate through the functions itself. I have not even read through the instruction manuals. But again, I have operated through quite a bit of smartwatches. So, it didn't really seem like a challenge. You know, I can really just unbox it and just start using it right away the interface is very uh it's very smooth i've seen watches at its price about the same price as this watch with very hard to use interfaces so the easiness to navigate through this watch is a plus i give it that and the battery here i've only charged it for about two hours right before this video it's a full charge have not yet really given it a use, so I can't really give you a, a accurate estimate of how long this battery will last. But I doubt that it would die anytime soon. As I have had it on throughout this video and played around with it more than I would usually on a wash throughout the day. Does not look like the battery has been drained for about a almost you know five to ten minute session of continuously playing around with it so again this is my basic review of the qw11 watch if you guys do purchase this watch you can use my affiliate links below after this video which would take it to amazon or ebay for which i am an affiliate of and i will earn a commission at no extra cost to you if you guys have not yet already, please subscribe to my channel. I will be sure to be back with you with more reviews on the latest gadgets, electronics, and smartwatches.